we're back here at SFA News Live, and probably the person that I look to to talk about trends more than anybody else is Kathy Strange sitting next to me from Whole Foods. I love her. She just makes me feel so so enlightened and empowered and smart because I just listen to what she says. Um, so, you know, I grabbed Kathy before. She's had a chance to walk around the show floor a bit. Um, she's got the world's longest title, I always say that, ever. It's like global development, something at, at Whole Foods, but she's the person. She's the person who travels the world, who knows what's coming next, and there's no better place than right here at the Fancy Food Show. So, Kathy, you've had a, a few hours to walk around. Obviously, you haven't seen the whole show. What have you seen that you've went, wow, that's cool, I never saw that, that's going to wind up in Whole Foods? Well, what's interesting is I've had the ability to see a cheese I judged at the World Championships in San Sebastian a few years ago, and it's now in the United States. That's oh. amazing. And Phil, we were talking about some of the trends around insect inclusions and in products. This has ants from Australia. And the flavor of the ant, it's a green ant unique to that area, wow. and okay. it tastes like citrus. So just really dynamic explosion in your mouth of flavors. So that was very exciting. We're seeing a lot of flavored uh, sparkling and effervescent drinks yes, with I'll unique flavors. I, I think that's uh, very exciting for customers. And just overall, for cheese, seeing a lot of fun things from Scandinavia, seeing evolution of products to alternative milks, it's incredible. So talking about the beverages for, for a moment, uh, we had someone on um, SFA News Live earlier, uh, Toast. I don't know if you've seen ah. their product. So it's a combination of cranberry, uh, green tea, and, and, and something else. Um, and he was sharing with me uh, two interesting facts that I didn't know. 30% of the country uh, don't drink alcohol. And another 30% drink alcohol once a week or less. Mm -hmm. So 60%, that's a huge market. And that's the market that he's going after by having this, and it was delicious and, and very aromatic and sparkling. And they only have this one flavor so far. He's coming out with some others, but he is really gearing it to be with a meal at, at a food service, at a restaurant, at one of the Whole Foods you know, restaurants, if you would. Um, and, and just being able to complement food versus interfering with it. But I had no idea that 60% of the country has one drink or less per week. And I think that's a great opportunity because you can uh, integrate some of those unique flavor components, especially around fruits. They're yes. so dynamic and tropical fruits, I don't think they've reached their peak and there are many out there that haven't been explored. Mm -hmm. So I'm seeing that around. I'm, I'm seeing an evolution even in some of the chips. Now you're seeing cracklings being integrated right. and I grew yeah. up in the South. Yeah. So yeah. that was a part of it. So it's very, uh, these, these people are so passionate and inventive. These manufacturers, they're constantly coming up with new things. And this is where you find it here at the Specialty Food Show. Yeah. And, and, you know, talking about the people, um, the other thing that I love seeing, and, you know, we've both come to the show for, for years, um, a lot of new people that have never been in the food world before. Um, we had on um, the person that created the Kali Power uh, frozen pizza. Yeah. She was in marketing. She started the company, um, you know, the summer of 2016, launched uh, February of 2017, and is now in 10,000 stores nationwide, had no background in food. Well, I love that. And I think conceptually, plant-based is really a way to go. And yeah. it's, it's a segment we're seeing explode. And there's some great partners out yeah. there coming up with that, that cauliflower, uh, pizza crust idea was fantastic yep. and I enjoy it myself. Yeah. So I think you are seeing that and then people do understand food because everyone consumes food, right. but they right. understand it in a different way. And so I think having ideas can come from so many places. So that's exciting. It is. And, and the passion that they have about their product, you know, some of the other shows uh, you walk around and, you know, you have two 
you know, white haired guy sitting behind a card table, not even getting up until they see, you know, that it's Kathy and then they get up and, and they exactly. want to talk to you. That's not here. This is this is more of a community of, of really, so. you know, entrepreneurs working with retailers, with other entrepreneurs to make the food world a better place. Well, and also to share ideas and to understand what's needed. Like our consumer really wants to understand where that product's coming from, that traceability. Absolutely. They want transparency into what is that ingredient and what is the source and what's the farmer look like? What are they? Uh, what are their commitments to sustainability and agriculture? I think you're seeing that in so many ways. Um, but the, as I said, that plant-based base craze is going to continue to evolve, and I'm seeing a lot of exciting yeah. items here at this show. Yeah, I agree. And, and I know you're not on the Amazon side, uh, but, but the one thing that I'm noticing that um, Whole Foods is influencing Amazon with the Amazon.com uh, aspect is now I'm starting to see all the food products having more nutritional information, having more stories being told about it. I mean, all that all that Whole Foods has stood for for so long is now being pushed online to really separate um, the foods that you buy on Amazon.com from a lot of the other e-commerce platforms that don't have the ingredients um, or don't have complete nutritional information or not telling the story and so on. So I'm glad to see that, that Whole Foods is pushing Amazon as much as Amazon is pushing Whole Foods. Well, I think it's a, a very exciting partnership for us and we look forward to continuing to evolve it. And for us, a platform that we can share more information about the products and that's also uh, Amazon's commitment, you know, putting the customer number one. And so I think that where we have so many shared mission uh, um, ways that we're going to be able to complement that coming forward. No, so. it's great. You guys, and, and you know, I've told you this before, you guys are number one in, in my book on it. So Kathy, thanks so much for joining us, uh, taking time to share it. And I'll wander around the show floor and I'm just going to follow you because I know you're going to see what's next. Great. I'll follow you. Phil, you're the best. <laughs> Thank you for having me. We love, we love chatting with you. Thank you. We're going to take a break on SFA News Live and we'll be right back. <laughs> 